Hey everyone, we're going to show you how to establish a wire connection for Chromebooks or laptops to your IFP so that you can mirror what's on your Chromebook or laptop. So there's a couple things that you'll need for this. You'll need an HDMI cable, looks like this, Get a little bit closer here. Yep, HDMI cable. You'll need a USB AB cable, which is an old printer cable, so it has like a USB connection on one end, and then it has that square USB connection on the other end that we used to put inside. Typically, uh, printers, you know, inkjet printers and so forth. Now, your Chromebook, if it doesn't have an HDMI output, it may need an adapter like this one. So this is a USB-C adapter, and then I can go to VGA or I can go to DVI or even HDMI. So you'll need those things to connect to make all the connections that you need between your Chromebook or your laptop and the IFP. So first thing that we'll do is we'll start the connections. So at the bottom on the side of your IFP you're going to see some inputs. Now those inputs will have they'll be grouped into colors. So for example on this one I can see like a grouping of blue inputs. I can also see a grouping of yellow inputs. At the bottom of this one, I'm going to use the HDMI and the USB AB input down here. So, first thing I'll do is I'll plug in the HDMI cable. And I'm going to plug it into my adapter here as well. And then I'm going to plug it into my Chromebook right here. Now, I'm also going to do this. Notice it's picking up an image right now from my Chromebook. Uh, let's see if we can get that show it a little bit better here. So we'll go to the settings here on the front panel. And it's actually showing right there. So notice it picked up HDMI 3 on the side input. So I'll just touch it. Okay. So now, here's the problem. This is what this is going to do, which is magic. I don't have touch capabilities right now. So if I touch anything, it really doesn't move my cursor or my mouse or anything like that. So if I click on that, it doesn't open anything. This will enable touch. So I'm going to plug the uh, B part of the USB, which is that square part, into the back here. In the same grouping as my HDMI cable. And then I'll plug this USB end right here to my Chromebook. And now I can touch the board. And let's see if we have touch here enabled. So, yep, and amazing, right? So I can open and close things and now it becomes a touch screen and it's showing exactly what's on my Chromebook. So I can go right here. And if I want to type something in, I can go back over to my Chromebook and type that in. So maybe I want to go to a math website, such as mathcounts.org. And I can scroll up and down. I can see what's going on. And so this would be a great activity for your kids to use if they want to show you something that's on their Chromebook that can't be shared on the IFP. For example, like Minecraft, or maybe they did some kind of digital product, or maybe they're using a feature that just isn't on the IFP on the Windows side that could be on the Chrome side. Okay, and that is how you connect with a wire connection between a Chromebook, a laptop, and the IFP.